Welcome, Eagles, to a- another episode of Trad Cat Night Radio. I am Eric Ajewski, founder and owner of Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. That's right, folks. Get to tradcatnight.org. The new website is up and running, and we are running strong. I'm featured all over the alternative media circuit. I'm keeping you up to date on all the latest happenings from around the world as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima. Yes, folks, at tradcatnight.org. This is where the Eagles are gathering. Make sure you hit the subscription button and notification button right here on YouTube. And as you know, Trad Cat Night is one of the hottest podcasts slash live radio shows available. We are... In my opinion, the only traditionalist site out there that's willing to speak about certain subjects that the others do not, they will avoid. And you can find my talks on Veterans Today, Minds.com, PubeTube, BitChute, SteamIt, D2, as well as on your phones at iTunes, Google Play, Player.fm, SoundCloud.com. And coming in September will be the special guest radio shows daily coming which will only be featured and seen at tradcatnight.org you can stay plugged in to all of my information across any major social media outlet whether it's twitter facebook google plus just search tradcatnight and you will get plugged into the information well i thank you all for your continued prayers and support of this apostle thank you all to those who have donated recently still uh, the majority of you have not lent a hand in this financial war against the modernists, against the Novus Ordo websites, against the mainstream media. So click that PayPal button. There's a donate button on tradcatnight.org and as well in the upper right hand corner of tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Last month's winners. I released this on the radio show uh, this past weekend on both shows. Last month's winners were Denise D'Angelo in Atlanta and Hugh Scarry out in Ireland. Remember, every $10 is one ticket into the raffle. What an explosive weekend of talks, folks. We started off the weekend with Patrick Wood from Technocracy.News. We spent... Uh, and almost an hour and a half just ripping through technocracy, the new world order, what's happening here in the United States. We broke down Russia. We broke down China. We really picked it apart. So I thank Patrick for coming on the program. And then we had popular new world order cartoonist, David Dees. I know many of you have seen his work uh, on my website. I tried to circulate some of his art, and he did one specific art piece for uh, Trad Cat Night. Uh, free of charge, so I thank David for that. But if you if you haven't seen his work, just go to uh, you, well Google and type in David D's, and you'll see all of his anti New World Order cartoons. So great talk again can only be found on tradcatnight.org. And then yesterday, unbelievable talk with Xavier Arau, who's a notable French author who's covered prophecy. Uh, over in France and has moved over here to the United States and is promoting the Marie Julie Jehenny messages and just an explosive talk as we rip through prophecy we talked about Marie Julie we talked about being a victim soul we talked about the pestilence coming we broke down specific nations and what will occur in France Russia and even the United States we talked about various elements such as the blood rain which is coming Today I'm going to talk about the two days of darkness very briefly before the three days of darkness because that's one area that we got into extensively. And folks, you're not going to want to miss this talk. He's going to be back on Sunday night as well. Get to tradcatnight.org. Sign up today. There were so many of you this morning. I woke up this morning. I was checking all of the signups and it was just through the roofs because many of you have been emailing me saying, how do I get this talk? And this is the way you can get it. Uh... Just everyone enjoyed it, and a great French guy, uh, Xavier. We spent a little bit of time uh, messaging each other after the show as well. I'll bring him back on in the future as well. But what I wanted to talk about today, folks, just very uh, briefly, again, these podcasts will be more abbreviated. This is one area that we talked about in last night's show extensively. Marie-Julie Jehenny, 
being told by the Holy Ghost that there would be two days of darkness before the three days of darkness. Now, for those who are not Catholic and not new, Marie Julie Janney was one of the holiest souls, in my opinion, that has walked the face of this earth. She experienced and held the stigmata for the longest in church history. It was recorded by medical science. It was proven to be true, meaning her, her stigmata. She had the uh, five wounds of Christ. All five, which is pretty rare in the Catholic Church. She once fasted for five years without eating anything or drinking water. And she lived on the Eucharist alone. It shows you the power of what we have in the Eucharist, in the Catholic Church, in the true religion. And she spoke so eloquently of this apostasy in the Catholic Church. She spoke so eloquently of these end times in general and the Islamic invasion to come. She spoke about safe places, specifically in Europe. Again, catch it on the talk. Don't have time to get into everything here. She talked about what you must do to prepare for the three days of darkness, period. And uh, actually, Xavier read uh, the specific text from the French, uh, which I had not heard. I mean, we have the English version here that so many traditionalists have heard, but I haven't heard the French version of it, so it was interesting to hear, hear him on the show recant that uh which will be in his book he's working on a book covering uh marie julie jehenny which will be available of course at tradcatnight.org once it is finished now the holy ghost revealed to her this was back in 1880 that there will be two days of horrible darkness distinct from those advertised of the three days of darkness meaning it's preemptive kind of like when you go to a fireworks show and you've got the regular fireworks kind of going on that's your two days of darkness and then bam you get the grand finale and that will be the three days of darkness so kind of a preliminary warning if you will the sky will be purple and red so low that the clump of tall trees will be as lost these two days will warn you as an authentic proof of his goodness as proof of descent from the wrath of god on earth you will not be free from this darkness so far no soul has mentioned it because those are not many who are made aware. To resist all these signs, holy water is a strength and consolation, and the candle, which must be 100% beeswax. And I've covered this before. During the three days of darkness, all the enemies of the Catholic Church will perish. So those Protestants who completely abhor the Catholic Church, who completely abhor the notion of a pope and the true doctrines on purgatory merit they are not going to make it i did a whole 30 minute show on this that's not that's not the premise of the show so this is preemptory and there will be some protestants by the way who will take messages like this serious and they will convert at that time but xavier went into stark detail just to how frightening it will be during the three days of darkness uh, as i have covered before in times past as well and so on september the 20 20th, 1880, the Holy Ghost went on to say during the, the two days, the trees will be burnt up and will not produce any fruit the following year because the sap will be burnt and stopped. The rain that falls from the sky will have a full, foul odor, and wherever it falls, it will be as big as a hailstone of fire that pierces, which is most solid, and will leave a visible mark of burning. Your homes will be preserved, those who are protected essentially by the, the Blessed Virgin Mary and staying under a mantle and staying close to the Immaculate Heart. Only that which is covered lightly will suffer, that of weak construction, she says. Now take a look at what's going on in the world today with all of the vast extreme temperatures that we're experiencing here, not only in this country, but specifically in Europe. I think they had their hottest day ever recorded in European history just within the past 72 hours. And I've covered this before. This ties in with the prophecy of Akita, this fire falling from heaven. It ties in with the prophecy that blessed, or the Blessed Virgin Mary gave to Blessed Sister Aiello of this fire falling from heaven, which will wipe out a greater portion of Russia eventually. In my opinion, that will be the catalyst to their conversion after the true consecration of Russia is done. Now the Holy Ghost goes, goes on to say that the water that will be poured on the earth will be black, a frightening black, and most of the land will bear it equally everywhere but will not hurt that which serves as food to the christians the holy ghost goes on to say that in Brittany, this is in france in these two days of darkness under the lowering sky it will seem light 
but no one will be able to see because they cannot put out their face by day when opening a door. There will be an envoy of God in the form of a hot flash which will obscure the human eye. The Lord is urging me to pass on his words and his wishes. The days of these darkness will be so it will still be bearable despite the darkness, but if the day is calm, the night will be violent. And during these two nights, cries will come out where they know not. They will hear nothing, nor walk on earth covered in justice. Again, the day of God's wrath is drawing close, folks. At night, the blessed candle, which again must be 100% beeswax. It must be blessed by a traditional Catholic priest. The candle should not be put out. During the day, they will be able to go without it, a grace that comes from beyond the heart of God. And to make note, only during the two days, during that daytime, can we put out the blessed candles, but not during the three days. It must be lit at all time. Now, on November 28, 1928, it was relayed to Marie Julie, the sun shall be darkened before, looking ahead as a precursor to the real darkness that will arrive 37 days after the signs of the darkening of the sun and of the signs of the earth and the announced storm. So take a look at all the weather anomalies that are happening here in this country. Take a look at all the increase in earthquakes. Another massive one, 7.0 off of the coast of Indonesia. I, I didn't follow up. I'm not sure if they had a tsunami, but they had a tsunami watch. All types of uh, diverse earthquakes happening in Russia, in Europe, in Asia, here in the United States, just as Jesus warned. And as this Planet X, which by the way, if you listen to this talk, I reiterate how Marie Julie Jehenny discusses Planet X, which came from the words of Christ himself. So that's another area discussed in the talk. Uh, I did want to make mention, while this is on the top of my head, uh, he, Xavier did make some errors, theological errors, uh, when indicating that individuals should still go to the new mass because it is valid. No, you cannot go to the new mass, even though it may be valid, because it is still a mass which is illicit and schismatic per Catholic teaching, and the modernists who are heretics are the ones who say that mass. Therefore, just like you can't go to the Russian Orthodox Church who have valid sacraments and a valid mass, you cannot go to the conciliar church. As Father has, has said, you cannot satisfy your Sunday obligation in the conciliar church. Folks, I hope you all do join us at tradcatnight.org. We'll get Xavier back on. That was two hours with Xavier this past, oh, just yesterday. I'm going to bring him back on for... Uh, another hour and 15 minutes. We're going to pick up where we left off. And again, I, do I have Dr. Hoynowski, who's going to be on the program, and he's going to be updating us to the whole fake Sister Lucia thing. And he's got new information. So, so I've been told over the last uh, 24 hours, of course, he put out, uh, I think it was on August 1st, his findings concerning there was a, a fake Sister Lucia. But he emailed me yesterday, and he says, he may have more to add to what he has already uh, indicated. So I'm sure he'll be promoting uh, that talk as well as I will be. Um, probably some point uh, in the middle of this week, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. So my good friends, I hope you all uh, are enjoying the content. For those of you who have switched over to uh, the website now, tradcatnight.org, I ask you all to continue to keep me in prayer. If you've got special guests that you'd like to see on my program, uh, please email me them at apostleofmeritatmail.com. If you've got questions, comments, articles, videos, blogs that you would like me to see, please send them as well to me at apostleofmeritatmail.com. Uh, and just for those who haven't signed up uh, yet, I created some new sections for the website. Uh, as I talked about on the live radio show, I added a whole free ebook section. I mean, it's you could spend probably an hour in there just getting lost on all the various saint books, mystical theology, so free PDFs there. But then also an interior life section, which I update daily, uh, giving you some of the latest from you know the imitation of Christ, the imitation of the Sacred Heart, humility of the heart, imitation of the life of Mary, and so on and so forth. Uh, I've also added a Vatican II section to help demonstrate what's wrong with that. I've also added a calendar so that you can see 
all of the live shows, uh, again, which all, are only are seen on tradcatnight.org and the special guest shows that we'll be starting back up with uh, on Saturday. But then also I'll be doing live YouTube conferences or question and answer sessions down the road. Uh, so that'll be in the calendar section. But then also my upcoming media appearances. And if you sign up uh, to uh, the page, you can see the four that, uh, I think it's either four or five that I signed up for over the past 24 hours one of which is is a, is a major youtube channel with uh, 350,000 subscribers i'll be on that show at the end of august so much is going on and i hope you my good friends join us i hope you desire to be an eagle of this times and that's why we have to keep our wings spread in faith and hope my good friends until next time stay safe god bless ave maria <laughs>